What's up, swag everybody? It's Eclipso. Today, I'm going to be bringing you a, another dungeon farm. This is going to be Stone Core. Now, it's not, it's also a uh, gold farm and a mount farm. All right, so you, you two birds, one stone. Can't beat it, right? All right, so where it's located at is located in Deep Home at the Temple of the Earth. Okay, and what, what you're going to do is you're just going to come to Deep Home, fly up, and it's right on the side of the big tower thing. I'll have it there. There's a portal from Stormwind and there's a portal from Ogamar. Now, the things I recommend for this farm, I recommend you be a skinner, and if you're a skinner, bring Dark Moon Firewater. All right, I also recommend Bear Tartar, and I recommend Potion of Treasure Finding. Now, the Potion of, of Treasure Finding is a little expensive, so it's not needed, and you're only going to get like maybe one chest uh, per run, so it's really not needed. I just like doing it just in case you get lucky, and it is what it is. Um, the, the box that you get most likely has like Alimentium ore, or you know, Amber Cell Cloth, or, or Volatiles in it, which you'll get you know, all of them in here anyways. All right, so what you're gonna do here first is we're gonna um, kill these first mobs, all right? So the first mobs have to die, all right? Because Milhau, oh, if I, if I didn't waste like every speed boost there, that's what I get for button smashing. Okay, so, so I did get a uh, tiny treasure chest in that. Nice. Okay, now these guys are skinnable. They're gonna drop pristine hides, savage, savage le leather, and blackened dragon scales. All right, which all sell for a decent amount. Uh, the pristine hide are like a thousand gold each on my server, which is absolutely amazing. Now these unbound eternal ragers, they don't drop anything. That they're unlootable, so just skipping them, skipping them, skipping, skipping them. There we go. I'm like skipping, skipping. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Nah, uh, but, uh, so, yeah, you want to kill them as you go. All right. Now, um, the, the funny thing is, is heroic is actually harder than normal. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Normal is actually um, harder than heroic. Heroic. Heroic is just real quick, but the, the mobs are strong on normal than, than what is on heroic. It's re absolutely ridiculous. Um, okay, and I also recommend like a half decent eye level. Okay, like I'm eight eight fifty, and it still takes me like a second or two to kill everything. Ah, there we go. I'm just grabbing up all these. Now the items we are farming are the angle fang, the, the splinter spear web, splinter spear webs. The, the, there's a bunch of weapons in here that sell anywhere from two k to twenty k, depending on which which one you get. All right, so it turns out to be very a very very viable farm. The last one, um, I had to remake this video like three times. I've just I've just had bad luck with it. One time it was muted. One I, one time I forgot this, forgot that, and etc. But my last one I made around 12k just from you know one run, which was pretty good. Which I'll show you the items I got from there. Okay, let's see what I got there. Oh, angle fang staff, 5k etc. Now, kill them there because. And then, you know, skin. But I like killing the, that group there just because the the one little dude that swipe. Uh, I can't remember the name of him. Hold on. Hold on. The Stone Core f uh, Flares. They they do an animation that stops them and makes them slow to run on. Or, like, slow to run up. Now, with this, there's the mount you will be farming right there. It drops off this next boss, which is, that's actually the boss. All right, so that big drag, dragon is the mount, which whenever we was doing Ludicrous Challenge last night, Barry from stream actually got it. So big big uh, congrats to him. He, he was happy about getting it for sure. Now, this boss is skinnable, and if I hit, hit a speed boost one more time, I'm going to lose my mind. There we go. Come on. Ah, black and dragon scale. Okay, so we got that, and you're just going to uh, keep moving down through here. Now, we are not going to complete the whole dungeon. The reason why is because the back end of the dungeon only has seven mobs, and the time that it takes you to complete it and run back, it's just, it's overkill, and you, you don't need it. All right, so what I'm going to do is see, I'm going to run up. I'm going to gather up all this. I just dropped drop down a bunch of ox statues, of course, because I'm a monk, and I have that um, luxury. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ox statue, there we go. Grab them. Now, the ogres are going to jump on you, stun you all the time. Well, not really stun you. They're just annoying. Yeah, like that. 
they like knock you back and whatnot. And they, they they will constantly do that. It's atrocious. You'll hate it for sure. All right. Oh my goodness. Okay. So basically, what I do now is I'll just run over here and I'll just LOS him here. I'll put down the ox statue. Dang it. There we go. I'll put down the ox statue and let's see what we get. Karma. All right. There we go. Ooh, I keep hitting my, my, my roll. I'm like, wait a minute, call man. I'll just roll out. There we go. Now, as you see, it's taking me a second to kill them. Like I said, like after, after the, the, the last little patch, whenever they started scaling them, these guys are ridiculously strong for me being a, you know, 860, 870, 110. Like, that, that's pretty ridiculous. All right, let's see what we get here. All right, 600. All right, 4,000 angle fang broad uh, axe. Okay, so I made about another 10K this run, too. Um, now, you can skin them, of course. Now, let's see what I got in that one chest. What is that chest? At? There it is. So I got ember silk and volatile earth. So, oh, yeah, you're going to pull, like, a bunch of different volatiles. Volatile earth and volatile fire as well. So we averaged around 20 to 80K. On average, there was there was one that was more. Um, I, th I think he made like 93k um, in looted item value. Now most people, most people made around 40k. That's average an hour. You know what it is. But that's basically what you're gonna do. Is you're gonna you're gonna take the portal. You're gonna teleport back to the beginning, and here you are. Um, but with that being said, Pippin is Pippin does swag. Peace. Catch me on the next one. You did.